that exists in darkness, a truth locked away in the space between sanity and madness, a dark realm where nightmares are born. Stories of this realm echo throughout time, each civilization recording the horrors. And now man dismisses those legends, thinking them tales to frighten children. But the creatures of the darkness, they live. Centuries ago, the dark gods were banished to the abyss, yet their children survived the purge. Now they return to destroy the world of man. It is time, my child. Awaken your powers. Now is the age of the sorcerer. Hi, I'm Rob Doherty, CEO of White Wizard Games, the creators of Star Realms, Hero Realms, and Epic Card Game. Introducing Sorcerer, an exciting new character building game that combines the best features of a strategy card game and a tactical board game. At the start of the game, each player will create a unique sorcerer by combining a character deck, a lineage deck, and a domain deck. Shuffle those cards together to form your grimoire, which contains your dark magic and evil minions. Each deck also comes with a skill card. Together, they show your true name and special abilities. For example, you might be Tegu the Necromancer of the Forgotten Temple, or Masilda the Bloodlord of the Screaming Coast. There are 64 possible deck combinations in the base game alone, each with a unique blend of skill and game cards. Every different matchup provides an exciting new game experience, and you get even more variety by adding on character, lineage, or domain expansion decks. Each turn of the game, players will spend actions to play spells, draw cards, gain energy, play minions onto the three battlefields, or to move their minions or sorcerer from one battlefield to another. After all player actions have been spent, minions do battle, only combat dice equal to their power, damaging or destroying enemy minions or even capturing the battlefield itself. If you capture two of the three battlefields, you win the game. Check out the playthrough video below to see the game in action. The Sorcerer base game comes with 173 cards, four player boards, four avatars, three battlefields, seven wooden cubes, eight custom dice, and over a hundred tokens. All that comes in a beautiful, sturdy game box designed to hold and organize everything, including all of the expansions and stretch goals offered in this Kickstarter. Thank you for watching and thank you so much for your support. We want to keep making great games and your pledge makes that possible. Press the green button. Pledge now. Hi, I'm Dylan Copper from Q Games, and today we have a special announcement. Over the last 10 years, we have received thousands of letters, emails, and rather inappropriate advances asking for more Pixel Junk monsters. Well, we heard you, so we're going to bring you more monsters. We have created a working prototype of Pixel Junk monsters for Android and iOS, and it is absolutely awesome. 
We're calling it Monsters Duo because it will be two-player co-op right from the get-go. For those who haven't heard of Pixel Jump Monsters, well, it's one of the original tower defense games and was hugely popular on PlayStation and is a widely loved and very addictive game, believe me. However, the project is bigger and more complicated than the original and we'd like our fans to take part in shaping it. So we're asking for your help to make this fledgling prototype into a full game. Lots of people ask for Pixel Junk Monsters goodies, so we've also used this as an opportunity to create some really fun stuff, such as a Tiki Man plushie toy, a board game, miniature replicas of the towers in the game and even more. A lucky and limited few will also be able to sign up for the prototype tiers and get into the prototype testing phase for the game as early as this Christmas. We also plan to update the game every week for these lucky prototypers. Oh, and I also agreed to have dinner with our biggest backers. Let that person be you. I'm really looking forward to saying thanks in person. Making games is tough and expensive, and it really doesn't get easier with time. I wouldn't be here asking for your help otherwise, but I know we have a lovely community of Pixel Junk Monsters fans out there that message me every day asking for more. So let's do this. Let's get this awesome game made and into everybody's hands. Pixel Junk Monsters is making a comeback, baby! Have you dreamed of being immortal? Have you dreamed of exploring dark secrets and bending others to your will? Have you waited so very long for a massively multiplayer game that would let you and your friends band together to dominate a society of vampires? Then welcome, kindred creature of the night. Welcome to the Shadow's Kiss Kickstarter. We are building a vampire Game of Thrones set in a dark, gothic version of our world. This virtual world casts you as a vampire or possibly another supernatural creature, competing or cooperating with other players to rule the night. And who are we? We're Clockwork Throne, a small group of game industry veterans who have been passionately working for the last two years to bring Shadow's Kiss to life. In Shadow's Kiss, you create your persona, choosing gender, orientation, and story motivation in addition to starting faction and appearance. You go on quests, battle other supernatural factions, and amass items of power. But Shadow's Kiss innovates on the classic multiplayer game. You must drink blood to survive and can raise your victims as thralls under your command, in addition to recruiting spies, enforcers, and blood dolls. You can gain and control lairs from nightclubs to sewers and build your power over the mortal world in the domination system where you strive to expand your influence over the police, media, underworld, and other aspects of the city. Combat is turn-based, allowing you to make strategic decisions about diplomacy, stealth, and rituals. And Shadow's Kiss is a classless system, so you can build skill and mastery in all aspects of gameplay and choose the role that's right for adventuring with your friends. We have come to a point where we need your help. We have established all the baseline for this game. We have gotten it published onto servers and running. You can patch the game, you can play it, you can create a character, you can go on quests, you can fight slayers and cultists and other things. We have this framework and we've done all this hard work, but we need to close the gap to add the quests, to add the levels, to add the customization, and especially we want to add some more supernatural factions. And that's expensive. If we're adding werewolves, we need to be able to make new werewolf models. We need to have client programmers that have the transformation into a werewolf. We have to do all the interface and the music and the storylines associated with it. And as all writers want to get paid for their work, we need to have be able to hire the team and to expand our team to do that. While it's imperative that we complete the core vampire game, we are adding stretch goals to make some of these favorites playable. The adepts work magic in the shadows. The Loop Guru, ancient shapeshifters that serve the Lunar Covenant, and the Revenants, resurrected hunters, forced back to life by the Necromancers. 
you're getting in very early to help us out and to help us complete this game. And so we're giving you the good stuff. You'll get an array of vampire havens, which are places that give you special power-ups and a home base and everything. You get special pets. We've got uh, tamed Lunar Covenant werewolves in there because normal werewolves can't be tamed. Uh, succubi and demons and ninjas and other great stuff. We have special powers you'll get as a result of doing this. And a lot of this is stuff that will only be available for the Kickstarter. Backing us now, helping us get across the finish line and complete this game gets you the cool stuff. We have been self-funded for the last two years. Generous help from our community on Patreon and in the Shadow's Kiss store has made it possible to get this far. But to complete the playable game experience, we need you. We need the support of people who love vampires, people who love horror, people who want to groundbreakingly massively multiplayer game. Your support will make it possible for us to get the essential game experience finished, with scores of levels, quests, stories, and adversaries. So, we need you to tell all your friends. Do you have friends that love Buffy, that loved Anne Rice, that loved werewolf stuff? Please, get them to share the Kickstarter. Support the project if you can, and get your friends to support it as well. And the more people that support it, the bigger it lifts that signal. Like, you can't stop the signal, Mal. Make that happen. Help us out so we can cross the finish line on this and that we can give you something incredible. I'm Sandy Peterson. And I'm Lincoln Peterson. And this is our new game. Your god lies comatose, buried by the power of the deadly Elder Signs. It is up to you to free him. Shatter the power of the Elder Signs. Release your great old one. Which among you, his cult leaders, will your lord reward with the title of High Priest? Evil High Priest is a worker placement game in which you and your friends take the role of priests of Great Cthulhu or another Great Old One. Though you belong to the same cult, you are not allies. Evil High Priest is different every time you play. It is emphatically about strategy and planning. Free your cultists from the asylum to do your work. Gather resources with your cultists. Summon monsters to defend you from the forces of conventional society. Perform dark rituals. Unique to worker placement games, you can switch out the cult board every time you play. This is where you shatter Elder Signs to free your god and is the main area of the game. Playing as members of Cthulhu's cult is nothing like Opener of the Way or any of the many other cults we have developed, all of which are available in our expansion box. You also have an inner sanctum you can dig out to hide your wealth from those who would destroy you and your kind. Throughout the game you will play secret chambers where you will hide your resources and protect them from investigators. When an investigator attacks, they will steal your resources. You must build defensive chambers, place monsters, and even sacrifice cultists to protect your sanctum. How you set up your chambers and resources within your sanctum is therefore a key part of your overall strategy in Evil High Priest. Evil High Priest is highly competitive. Only one of you can be the High Priest. Only one can be worthy. You will need to understand how your cult works, which changes every time you try a new cult board, and gather the resources needed to shatter the Elder Signs, plus survive the unwelcome attention of investigators and their allies. If you know Peterson Games, you know we love variety and replayability. Evil High Priest is a solid product which has been in development and under playtest for almost two years. It is finished and ready to go. All we need is the cash to pay the printer, and it will be on its way. We hope to have your support for this innovative and exciting game. 
Thank you for your consideration. The summer of 1698 seemed such a hopeful time for Scotland as five ships with 1,200 people set sail for the Isthmus of Panama to found a trading colony they hoped would rival those of England and Spain. Never before or since has so much of a nation's wealth been gambled on such hopes and dreams. False hopes and false dreams they were revealed to be as apocalyptic forces were ranged against these brave and doomed settlers. Your role in Darien Apocalypse is to compete against your fellows to create a thriving trading colony. Four horsemen of the Apocalypse will visit on you. Famine, pestilence, war and death. The biblical figures were only too real for these new Caledonians as they struggled by back-breaking work to create their own Garden of Eden. In Darien Apocalypse, you play to win against each other, despite the four horsemen, or work together to overcome the horsemen collectively. You choose a game start. This is our first game that might be seen as worker placement in a sense, but resource development within the game is always of the mind to how to keep the four horsemen and their earthly shadows, avatars, at bay. It's our second Quantum Worlds game, with each player trying to establish his or her own colony. How well or badly your colony fares will influence the colonies of other players. There's plenty of player interaction with shared actions, and as a consequence, little downtime between turns. Darien Apocalypse is thematic with artwork and components contributing to a strong sense of atmosphere. I defy you not to attempt a Scots accent in some point in the game. Except for you Scots, for you it's compulsory. Ragnar Brothers have been designing limited run games for over 25 years and this is our seventh Kickstarter, perhaps our most ambitious. For we want to bring you gorgeous sculpted figures of the Horsemen of the Apocalypse to add a tactile and visual edge to the game. To reach our stretch goals and realise our dreams of creating a terrific game on all levels, theme, artwork, mechanics and components. In Agent X, you play the role of a secret agent, whose mission is to recover stolen data. The gameplay is arcade style, where you ride your vehicle down difficult terrain. In some areas, the terrain is missing, but you are given a powerful tool. The equation generator lets you build and manipulate algebraic equations. This allows you to choose your path, solve puzzles, and collect all the stolen data. In later levels, the enemies block your equation preview with a signal jammer. You need to rely on the equation alone and build an understanding of how they are transformed. The simple user interface makes learning equations fun and easy. Everything is built using math, from skyscrapers and bridges to airplanes and computer programs. Agent X was designed to inspire creative problem solving and to teach the basics of algebraic equations. There are over 60 levels packed with puzzles and 10 vehicles to unlock with unique stats and physics. Hi, my name is Fred and I'm the creator of Agent X. 
I believe that mobile games have incredible potential for learning and inspiration. I see younger and younger people with access to mobile phones, but I also see a lack of quality educational content. So I wanted to create a unique puzzle game that would help inspire people of all ages to get excited about math and engineering. As you can see, the game is almost complete, but I need your support to help pay for developer fees and to help share this project. In addition to the game, I've created the option for you to pay it forward. Any amount that you pledge beyond the cost of the game will give someone else the opportunity to download and play the game for free on release. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and your generosity is greatly appreciated.
Adventure of Dark Fantasy Steeped in fear, myth and superstition Hunt or be hunted by creatures Please. of antiquity and legend Search dangerous locales to find clues to the source of evil Sinking its claws into the heart of the land Laying waste to its people on settlements Free the denizens from the scourge of witchcraft and vampirism. Oppose the spreading darkness as it overtakes the land by playing one of six unique characters whose skill and knowledge grow as they face challenge after challenge. Harness the power of artifacts long forgotten and find rituals from the pages of the dreaded Necronomicon. Can you survive, or will you become a ghost? Or worse, doomed to transform into one of the creatures that hunts by night. Each choice determines your path. Each decision, your destiny. What legacy will you leave in folklore, the affliction? to the Mars Open. The crater tops are shimmering in the sun and we're looking at a standard 0.38 G's on this beautiful day for golf. 